definitely have one poem for you guys. I'm sorry. But I feel like it does need a little bit of explaining. Um, it was written to a strange prompt, which is compare yourself to an item at a yard sale. And so that's really all you need to know. The sun bats its eyelashes in a way that makes me feel like it was really looking at me, the way you used to. The morning dew laying lazily across blades of grass still clings to the images of the stars that we used to sing about. The face of a broken alarm clock shows me that my face is broken, right down the middle, and the pain of the fracture zips through my wood like it was new. The morning breeze pushes a sign hung around my neck but does nothing for the dust layered upon the hole in my middle. Beside me, peeking through the blades of a fan that sputtered out years ago like myself, is the orange eye that you fled from every morning. The sun takes me back to long days, sitting against your nightstand, waiting for your footsteps, ringing the bells to my escape. You never picked me up right away, and so each night, excitement pulled my heartstrings taut, like the tension in your jaw as you watched outside the window slats for the pale face of a loved one, just beyond your calloused fingertips. And when it grinned brightly between the bars of your cage, you would swing me up with ease, and my heart fluttered next to yours. Maybe you pulled my hair to get me to make just the right sound, but it stopped stinging with the vibration of your chest. You pulled my neck up by yours, and you held me like you loved me. And I like to think you did. You and I sat up all night long, you with the scent of cherry wood in your brain, and I with the slightest scent that comes just when you walk in the door that reminds you of home intoxicating me. We three, you and I with the moon by our side, we weren't the best singers, but we were on those nights. Baby, we, you, played the blues like you were born with sheet music tattooed on the back of your eyelids. Boy, things were swell. And one night, I sat loyally against your nightstand, waiting for baby to come back home, but footsteps were instead the steady beating rhythm of words and tongues I couldn't begin to understand. My heartstrings tightened, not with excitement, but stress. And when you stormed in that night, you were rocking like a hurricane, throwing things around at the speed of sound, and words I didn't know but made me want to wash out my mouth. You sat upon your messy throne like a fly on the wall. You pulled me up like we were going dancing. I felt the excitement rise, but fall and crash when I realized you were holding my neck a little too tight. Your breath was not the wind in the reeds, but the snort of a bull. You picked me up till I was high as the Empire State, and you threw me down like I burned you. But in the time it took to fall somewhere between being in love with you and hating you, I realized why you spoke foreign languages like the blues so well. Because you saw them in your untied shoelaces, in your mirror in the morning, in your daddy's face when he told you music won't feed a family, in your friends, in the moon, and maybe even in me. So when I hit the ground, I knew the pain of my face splintering could never amount to the pain you felt. I knew the teardrops hitting my heartstrings, burning like acid, were a flood of songs we would never sing. I knew you hurt. When I was broken, you turned away, but I understood. I understood when you stuffed me in with the monsters in your closet, even though it hurt. That's why I waited for five long years, lounging with the skeletons in the closet, waited for the footsteps ringing the bells to my escape. That's why I'm waiting in the driveway, with a broken heart and a sign hanging from my bruised neck that says in a nasty language I will never understand. If you can fix me, you can have me. But I swear upon my old friend the moon, upon all the stars in the sky, upon all the songs we never sang, that even if I never t get this w scar self welded shut, I will find a way. I'll search between every note I can possibly play for a way to fix you. Woo!